Wireless module activated. Hello, I'm Patrick from DOS Gaming Network, and welcome to DOS Gaming Network's Brutally Honest Reviews. On today's episode, we have something very special in store for you. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Astro A50 wireless gaming headset. Uh, I've actually reviewed these once before where I did a comparison between these and the Sony Wireless Gold headset, and let's just say it wasn't quite favorable towards the A50s. Now, the reason I'm doing another review on these is because uh, basically on the previous review I got a lot of people in the in the comments that were saying hey you know there must have been something wrong with that headset you need to take it back you need to get another headset and retry them out so what I actually did is I took them back the old pair and I didn't get a new pair I just just didn't do it and then I went back probably around a month later and I picked up a new set just to make sure it wasn't from the same batch and make sure that I give it a fair go. I've had these for going on six months, so there's absolutely no way that these speakers aren't broken in properly or anything like that. I've been using them as my primary headset and I still feel exactly the same way as I did the very first time I reviewed them. And I, let me just go over some of the, I guess the gripes I have with, uh, with this headset. First of all, if uh, if you didn't notice, let me show you the price tag on it. Hopefully, you guys can see that. It is two hundred ninety nine ninety nine U.S. dollars. It's a three hundred dollar headset, and they suck. They, I'll be honest with you. My review of the Astro A fifty wireless headset is it sucks. It's a it's not a good headset uh, for pinpoint like location in in a call of duty and other shooters like that it's it's garbage it i'll be i mean it's, i'll be brutally honest it is garbage if they're behind you basically you're going to hear them behind you and that's it you won't tell where they're at you know it's, it's basically a 50 50 chance you turn left you turn right you might get them other than that it's got okay the tr or i'm sorry the a40 tr tournament ready edition those things are awesome. Like, I've used those before. Amazing, excellent headset. Highly recommend them. Perfect. These, I, I wouldn't give these to my worst enemy. Well, I might give them to my worst enemy and play Call of Duty against them. But anyways, this fabric that they use on these ear pads is, it's like suffocating to your ears. It, my head gets so hot with these things on compared to the A40s. I mean, it's crazy. Not only that, the the microphone is non-detachable, which I don't have a problem with it, but it's not a very good quality mic. It's crazy because the, the TR edition, like the A40 TRs, has a much, much better microphone. But anyways, I just wanted to go over some of the stuff that I don't like about it. Basically, you have a, you have a switch that has three presets. Uh, number three, I believe, is supposed to be your, you know, your amplification or whatever, footsteps, a high treble mode. It sounds almost identical to the rest of the modes. Everything is very muddy through this headset. And if you watch my first review, you'll see that I've used a ton of different headsets in my gaming career. I mean, I, I probably owned at least 25 to 30 different headsets throughout the years. So, you know, starting with, you know, I guess uh, the original Xbox and the... Uh, when they first start coming out with these things. But anyways, I'll be honest, there's not much to say about it. If you are planning on spending a good deal of money on something like this, I highly, highly, highly suggest you don't. Just go ahead and get the, uh, the TRs, the Astro A50 TRs. Even though they're wired, they're a much better headset. If you have to have Astro and you want, you know, like the tournament style headsets, Get the, get the Astro A40 TRs. Stay away from these. That's pretty much my end-all be-all review for these. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I don't get too much hate in the uh, comment section down below.